Okay, so a lot of you guys have pointed out that I put the shaft in backwards on the crown baler. Now I'm going to take you over and show you what I got because I think it's really kind of interesting that you all saw that and it didn't take you but a, a nanosecond to see it and point it out. See that? There it is, the tractor pointing towards the flywheel. Now I agree. That's what that is. Now, I want you all to know that this is the universal, the front one, the forward one is the universal joint that went out. And there's the tractor. So, I'm going to take you over here to this old shaft, which I have not done anything to other than, you know, put it in the box. And I want to show you something. Here's the tractor point in that direction and look at that that is the end that was at the flywheel and this is the end that was towards the tractor so it went in the way it came out and I know that that shouldn't make any difference whatsoever because they're identical they're identical crosses the only difference is um, that the tube is going to be on one side and the shaft, the insert, the inner, the male end and the female end. That's it. But I put it back in the way it came out of there. Now, I don't know if it's wrong or right or right or wrong, but that's the way I did it because that's the way it came out. Uh, yeah. So this actually has to go back to Messick's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It won't matter anyway because the... Power take -off, that power takeoff shaft is not telescope. It is just in there. It stays in one position. It doesn't turn up, down, sideways, or anything. It just, it just is. It's just there. It's kind of like the uh, the other shaft on the other side that runs the nodders. So, okay, I understand that that is was a concern of yours, but uh, it's not a concern because that's the way it came out of there. And even if they did, even if they did, uh, uh, yeah, take the shaft out to put that yoke in, they only needed to take that side off because that's what I did when I realized that it was junk. So it's not like you have to take the whole entire shaft out to get to that cross for the, uh, yeah, to repair it. So the shaft must couldn't have ever been taken out all the way to repair that unless maybe they went a little over and above beyond what they should have done. But what I am suspecting, and I think I said this in another video, was that this shaft or this front half of this shaft was robbed from a uh, or was robbed from this baler to get somebody else's baler going and then they just fixed this half and put it in with that inferior cross right there. So that's just my thoughts on the whole deal. Right, Tim? Yeah, um, yeah I guess we could do a quick update on what Tim is up to. Uh, well, I can show you here because there's a lot of stuff going on there. He needs new fan belts on the 4960. They've just loosened up to the point where they squeal and squeak and it drives him absolutely bonkers. Are you sure you can get this one? Yeah, you don't have to take the whole thing apart. Uh -huh. No, I can't even get a ratchet in there. What are you talking about? I've changed this before, you know. Yeah, that's it. Right here? Yeah, that's it. I don't feel like busting a nut. You broke your nuts? I said I well, you might want to turn it the right direction. Yeah, you take those two off of there. Actually, I don't even think you have to take that off. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me shut this. Okay, we got him straightened out. Just take the two bolts off the aluminum casting. And then you turn that, and then the whole aluminum thing will fall out, and you can change the belts. He should know by now. But anyways, yeah, that's the dilemma with the, uh, with the power takeoff shaft. It is not a dilemma. It is put back the way it came off. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you complain long enough, I guess I could just flip it around and, I don't know, maybe that'll wear out faster. Who knows?